the most unguardable, unstoppable, well-rounded build in NBA 2K24. This is now my official main build, and I am super excited to give it to you guys. Let's get into it. If Christian McCaffrey gets one yard on Thanksgiving, you win. This opportunity is on Prize Picks. Prize Picks is a place where you can put your sports knowledge to the test and win up to 25 times your cash. Use the link in the description to get a deposit match of up to $100. In other words, if you deposit 10, you'll get matched with a free 10. And if you deposit 100, you'll get matched with a free 100. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Take advantage of this promo. Link in description. Use code YOUNGDIRK. Okay, we're going to go shooting guard. Six foot nine. We are going to be 185 pounds with a 7'3 wingspan. We're going to start off with driving dunk and we're going to get a 94 driving dunk. Let me just upgrade the vertical to 82 right now and look at the badges. Posterizer, gold, slithery, hall of fame, super good badge, precision, dunker, gold, bunny, spin cycle, two step. Next, we're going to go with a 90 standing dunk. We get fast twitch on silver, even though it doesn't work and rise up on gold we are then gonna get a 90 post control we get unpluckable on silver i'll explain why later we're gonna get dream shake hall of fame and we're gonna get post fade phenom hall of fame as well just have to upgrade some other stuff postman technician hall of fame super glitchy badge and drop stepper on gold for the layup we're keeping it at 74 we get pro touch on gold and scooper on silver giant slayer on gold as well and then we're gonna leave the close shot at 60. what i'm about to tell you is actually game breaking and the reason why this build is so 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 broken and that is the posterizer on gold along with the 94 driving dunk and i'm calling it now as soon as this vid drops a lot of people are gonna make their builds with posterizer on gold let me explain why it's so broken and shout out to joe knows he is the person he called me called me on the phone said dirk you gotta make a build with high dunk it is beyond op he explained i made it and he was 100 right so here's why it's so broken if the eyes on your player has a straight vision clear path of the rim it doesn't matter if there's someone on the sides or on the right or your hips whatever if it's a straight direct path with nothing in the way you will get a huge green window on your meter dunks every single time in other words as long as i can get my defender on my side i am getting a free dunk every single time i would say i have dunked the ball so far on this build like 500 times and i have mistimed the huge meter dunk one time one time bro like it is super super easy to time now look if someone is directly in front of you like this the meter shrinks to where you literally have to time it perfect and it's really really hard it's pretty much just luck or you're using a zen i rarely get this small green window this is only if you screw up the angle now bro the standing dunks on this build six foot nine seven foot three wingspan the 90 standing dunk bro i I get blown away. Like I get bailed out a ton. You can do it in traffic. You can do it on their hip, on your side. And I have never been blocked on a standing dunk, bro, on this build. Never, never been blocked on a standing dunk one time. Now for the post scoring, bro. Like unless you have a super high interior, I am going to score on you. And even if your interior is high, you are still able to score in the post on this build. The drop steps and the post spins are just really broken this year. Anytime a guard that's 6'6 six, six or less gets on the court against me, it is a free bucket in the post every single time. And then they're going to back up, think I can't shoot, and then I hit that three. And it's super, super bro, it's, this build is literally unguardable. It is so hard to get a stop because this build can score on you in so many different ways. Watch this, you guys. This is a real scenario on the ones earlier today in the stage. I scored on him in the post first play. Okay, now watch this. Okay, now he's gonna back up. He doesn't want me to post spin him and I just post fade. And let's watch this again. I'm just gonna, you know, gonna switch hands, you know, gonna back up, post fade, like, and then if he plays up, I can just post spin, but I'm gonna end it with the post fade. I know you guys are going to want the dunks, so here they are. I got you. We're running pro and elite off two. That's why we went with the 94 and 82 vert. We got the pro contact dunks off of one. I don't like the athletic standings. This is the one I use. And then I'm rocking Russell Westbrook and LeBron James as my signature dunks. 
Now for the shooting, we're gonna go with an 88 midi and we're gonna go with a 78 three. I'll explain that in a second with a 67 free throw and look at the badges, bro. Blinder, silver, catch and shoot gold, dead eye on silver. The reason why we went 88 is because we want that green machine on gold, super underrated badge. Space creator, guard up, midi magician, open look, comeback, kid, dream shake, post fade, phenom, like I said. We got the agent threes on bronze as well like bro we get a lot of shooting badges because you are six foot nine with a seven foot three wingspan you can shoot opens and shoot over guards like that first clip right there and that was only an eight on a six six that would have been like uh smothered like that is an open shot like the height you know take advantage of it especially in the midi the 88 mid bro it's in the mid range it's really hard to miss on this build i'm not gonna lie i prefer fading to the right a lot more it also depends on your fade and i'm gonna give you guys the fade of course i use kobe bryant dribble pull up you're welcome there's two ways you can take advantage of the broken 88 mid with your 69 height so here's a few things i do i will either start off the game and hit a few mids then they start to play off and then i can just easily go to the basket to get a dunk or i'll start off the game rim running and then they're just gonna back up and then i'll have the wide open mid it's bro it's unguardable now for the 78 three i understand it's not that high but you can definitely make it work first thing you need a good jump shot i will leave my new current jump shot is god's ear in the description go check it out after this but so here's what i recommend if you are not the most uh if you are not the most skilled okay and you're not like a really good elite shooter here's what i would do i would hit a midi to start okay or a dunk get that green machine going okay get it going build up your takeover then let those threes fly that's what i recommend even i bro I don't like to shoot a three as my first shot unless I really have to. For the playmaking, we're gonna go with a 75 pass accuracy. We're gonna get a break starter on silver. We're gonna go with an 80 ball control. We get some good animations with 80, you guys will see. And then we're gonna go with a 75 speed with ball. I am gonna give you guys my dribble animations. Don't you worry, because let me tell you, bro, this is gonna take you a little bit to adjust to, especially if you're used to playing on a 6.6 or a 6.4 or whatever. You really need to take advantage of your height and your length when dribbling. You gotta take advantage of your snatchbacks, the behind the backs, your cross overs you can't dribble like if you're on a 6-4 or a 6-6 it just won't work you're gonna have to adjust and try stuff out and see what works or you can just watch me of course and just do what i do but i want to show you guys this okay this is you know if you don't want to activate sharp take which i always recommend you could activate your play take because you can actually dribble like you're on a 6-6 and this is really good if you play rec or pro-am i know that Joe knows when he plays Pro-Am, he always activates his play take. As promised, here are my dribble moves. If you make this build, please put on these dribble moves. These are the best ones, I promise. Now for the defense, we're gonna go with a 65 interior, an 85 perimeter, and an 85 steal. We get interceptor, glove, and right stick ripper on silver. And I'm not gonna lie, I think this is almost just as good as gold. I kind of regret putting it gold on my other build now. We're gonna leave the block at 27, offensive rebound 30, and I'm a twos player. You guys can tweak this as you know, but we're going defensive rebound on 70, and we get that rebound chaser on bronze. Because you're 6'9, the defense is a lot better than the stats show. You can literally switch on everything unless you are guarding like a pure post score you have the 70 defensive rebound you just gotta box out and 90 percent of the time you will get the board unless their offensive rebound is super super high you also have the 85 steal for the interceptor and glove and because you are longer you get a lot more than if you're on a 6-6 or a 6-4 and you have the 70 defensive rebound like i said and you can just outlet bro you can just either outlet with the break starter like these next two clips or you could just get that rebound go go coast to coast and get that dunk but last defensive clip right here break starter godly 
Okay, for the physicals, 80 speed, 65 excel, 50 strength, 82 vertical, and 99 stamina. And we get that handles for days. If you want to tweak this build to your play style, that is more than okay. This is just the foundation. If you want to see this build against cop stage sweats, that video is on screen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you didn't already. Have a good day. Go out. Bye.